it's it's kind of a matter of uh, uh, their reception of you that you are not kind of a journalist who just arrived made several clicks for two hours and they and left and slept in his uh, fancy uh, hotel and they uh, they continue to stay in the mud you know because then uh, the for those journalists people wouldn't tell their stories I mean, they would probably say something basic but if you want to bring a real story you need to put yourself on the same on the same level and uh, in the same circumstances with others. We found a family and we uh, introduced ourselves and said like we want to follow you, we will not uh, help you in any way, like we will not get you better access or money or, uh, or push you through the kind of police line, so we will just follow you, but if you uh, don't mind we'll, and can you allow us. And, and then uh, we could not go across the border just at any illegal place that they were crossing. So we had to uh, stop at some point, detour, go through official checking, get our stamps and the passports, find them back with a, the with a text. That's why we had a translator with us, so she was kind of in contact with that family and then we pushed forward. I worked for five months in that story and I had a variety of uh, feelings from from being sorry to being angry uh, because not not all of them behaved properly but I understood that those people had to flee their homes and that, like they carry whatever they able to carry on their backs and so uh, but on the other hand at some point I did not understood why they want to uh, go like uh, why they want to cross several countries and to get, get to certain country for example what's that why why exactly this country for example so uh, but but then again that's my personal questions and I can debate with myself and answer that but there is something that is unfolding in front of my eyes and that's what uh, I should not uh, interfere with my personal feelings, you know.